I think it's every girl's dream to walk in the Victoria's Secret fashion show. Everybody knows what a big deal it is. You kind of feel like a deer in headlights, your first show. My first Victoria's Secret fashion show was the year 2000. I was definitely very nervous about all the models I was going to be next to. What do I have to do? It was so amazing to see the angels that I'd only seen in pictures or on TV. Heidi Klum was there, Tyra Banks was there. I stood back and watched Alessandra and Adriana like, what am I doing here? Like, this is crazy. You're Standing backstage in my outfit, ready to go out, I was so nervous. But the minute I stood on the runway, I feel like I became a woman. I was like, oh my god, this is amazing! But it was overwhelming. It's something that will stick with you forever. I was an angel then, and I just felt fabulous. And here I am now, ready for another one. New girls always bring a vitality and an energy and excitement and a nervousness to the show that is great. She's adorable. Yes. Oh, I love her. We really found beautiful girl, and she is perfection. We told her that she was going to be in the show, which she was so excited about. Growing up in St. Louis and being an American girl, this is it. I'm getting my dream. Oh, no. <laughs> I really feel like I'm living the American dream. All right, hurry up, we're late, come on. This is the famous pink robe. It's becoming official. I can't believe it's already time. for us for the passion was to have this couture hand to it. It was built on the idea of like seductive Latin Spanish references. This piece by Candice, it's probably one of the most expensive pieces in the show. It's all hand embroidered in India. It's got jet beading. That's a really opulent outfit. This fan wing that's sort of gold plated and bejeweled. It's meant to represent a Spanish fan, which we've made into a wing. The lingerie is really beautiful, has lots of crystals. My body is like full of crystals, and I have this back piece, you know, like my wing is just amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> look at me. You look so cute. <laughs> Little gymnast Bahati. Up to tricks, no doubt. I've got these little wings on. It was a dress up day at school. I had wings then and I've got wings now. This is both our first bikini shop moments. <laughs> I think we killed it. Okay, let's talk about this now. Oh my gosh, yeah. so I had a very awkward stage and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I love that picture of you. That's so cute. This is hilarious. <laughs> Look at this sweater. My mom dressed us very interestingly. A lot of sweaters. And I always had this stupid haircut, too. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. When I was young, I wanted to be a ballerina, and then I wanted to be a doctor, then I wanted to be an astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> Growing up in Africa, I really wanted to be a marine biologist. I thought I was going to be a soccer player when I was little. But then uh, when I got into high school, I got more interested in other things and boys. Um... <laughs> It seems like another life, these pictures. Yeah. We're like both from a small town and... We had big dreams. Like, yeah, we did have big dreams. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a childhood dream. And little girls are going to be looking at us going, oh, one day I hope I'm an angel. I know. And they will be. Someone will be. Someone that's watching this will be an angel. Looking back on this, I would say that you should definitely not judge what you're going to be when you blossom by what you are when you're a kid because a whole lot changes. Load the band. Go. Let's load the band now, please. Okay, stand by for Maroon 5. Last year we were spectators, we were fans. We were on the sidelines last year, but this year we're actually part of the show, which is really awesome. Having him be on stage next to me is... I know we're going to have a, the best time ever. I'm going to be in a runaway. And I'm going to be on the runway, too, <laughs> wearing a bra and pants. Stand by Kanye. Six, JC, JC, six, JC. Can we get Nikki into position? So I'm on my way to the fitting. This is my first year back after having the baby, so it's super exciting. I can't wait to see what they have in store for me. excited because today Miranda's coming in for her fitting and she's opening the aquatic section and she's going to be wearing the two and a half million dollar fantasy bra this year. And then it's framed by this big shell. I can't wait to put it on. Yeah, let's do it. It's amazing. It really is just breathtaking. She looks amazing. I love it. Good job. I've got my outfit. I'll see you on the runway. We're backstage at the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show, and Kanye West is right there. It's all happening. Kanye is standing by. Stand by, Jay-Z. Thank you. Send it out now. We have Nicki Minaj, stage right and ready. I know the angels pretty well, and there's a lot more than meets the eye. Adriana off the runway is a crazy boxer. I'll show you my knuckles. Adriana, she wants to do something, she'll do it. She's like superwoman. She's unstoppable. Candace is someone that you want to love, but then she has this tiger side. She's an adrenaline junkie. She loves hang gliding. She totally embodies the essence of adventure and being a total sexy goddess. Bahati takes amazing pictures. I think it helps being a model. She knows the moments to catch. I feel like she just like comes in, gets the candid shot. Sorry, girls. <laughs> Lily loves music. She's definitely owning the rock chick angel right now. To be married to a musician and go on the road and all those things, you have to love music. You have to love it to be married to it, right? Erin is extremely intelligent. She has every gadget you could ever imagine. She's definitely a sexy nerd. I love being a nerd. I wouldn't want to be any other way. <laughs> Don't you know? In putting together I Put a Spell on You, uh, we were really trying to create the idea of a steamy, sultry, turn-of-the-century New Orleans. This is amazing. 
It has this innocence of the pale underwear, so you get this floaty, ethereal girl, but then rapidly turns into this darker angel. It's an amazing look. This is my favorite outfit ever. To accent this section, we relied heavily on antebellum mixed with boudoir, giving kind of a sense of both innocence and sensuality.